What's up everyone, it's Red Saber here from Saber C++ and today we're creating this Tetris game. Let's get started. First, we'll need to create the pieces for the game, which are called Tetrominoes. I'm going to store each of these as a string representing a 4x4 grid, where I'll use an X for a part of the shape and a dot for empty space. So inside of the Arduino IDE, I'll create a string array called Tetromino with 7 items and in the setup function I'll fill it up but I'll put all of the letters for each tetromino on one line so that they take up less space. Now we also need to be able to rotate these shapes, so I'll create an int function called rotate and pass in the position, which will be int px and int py, and the rotation int r, so we'll return the proper index for each position inside of the shape. So, if the piece isn't rotated at all, we'll return the index 0 at 0, 0, or 1 at 0, 1, or 15 at 3, 3. And if the square is rotated by 90 degrees, then we'd return 12 at 0, 0, and 3 at 3, 3. You get the idea. So, to create this, we'll start with an int called index set to 0, and we'll do a switch statement based on r mod 4. So, the modular operator returns the remainder of a division, so if r was 17, then we do 17 divided by 4, which is 16, remainder 1, so we'd get 1. Basically, the idea is that we can only get the numbers 0 to 3, which are our 4 rotations. 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 270 degrees. In case 0, we'll simply set index to py times 4 plus px. So we'll move past 4 items, or 1 row, for each y, and past 1 item for each x. In case 1, we've rotated by 90 degrees. So, how can we figure out which index should be which? Well, if we start with the y, we can see that when x equals 0, y is going to be 12, then 13, then 14, and then 15. So our equation should be 12 plus y for that part. But then we need to add in the x. So when y equals 0, we can see it starts out as 12 and decreases by 4 for each x, going down to 8, then 4, then 0. So in our equation, we can subtract px times 4 to get the final equation of 12 plus y minus px times 4. Now for case 2, the array is upside down, so we'll want to subtract the initial equation, py times 4 plus px, from 15, which is the max index, to get 15 minus py times 4 minus px. And in the final case, case 3, we'll set the index to 3 minus py plus px times 4. Then at the end, we'll want to return the index so that we can use it later. Now, let's create the game board, where we'll store the edges of the board and any shapes that are locked in place at the bottom. We'll need to create an int called field width, which will be 12, and an int called field height, which I'll set to 18. Then, I'll create an unsigned character field array with 216 items. So this will be an array of 216 characters, which is 12 times 18, so field width times the field height. And the characters are simply values from 0 to 255. We we'll use the characters instead of ints because they only take up one byte, whereas ints take up a few bytes. Let's start up the serial monitor using serial.begin9600. To fill up our board, we'll want to check if the current spot is at the left or right edge or the bottom, as those will be the walls. I'll use nines to represent the walls and zeros to represent open space. To fill the board, I'll create a for loop with an int called x going from zero to field width, and inside of that, a for loop with an int called y going from zero to field height. Inside of this, we'll want to set the element of the field array at y times field width plus x, which basically means y rows, because y moves us an entire row, plus x columns, because x only moves us one column, and we'll check if x is equal to 0, or x is equal to field width minus 1, so either edge, or if y is equal to the field height minus 1, the bottom. And if any of these are true, then this is either an edge or a bottom, so we'll set it to 9. Otherwise, we'll set it to zero for open space. Now that we have our board, let's output it to the serial monitor so we can see what's going on. We can create a void called output field. Inside of it, let's loop an int called i from zero to field width times field height. If i mod field width is equal to field width minus one, then we're at the end of a row, so we use a print line statement to print field i. Else, we use a print statement so we don't create a new line. Then, at the bottom, we want to use print line to print out four dashes to separate each board from the next one because we'll be printing them out over and over again. At the top, let's create a bool called game over and set it to false. And in the loop function, we'll say while game over is equal to false, output field. 
and as you can see, we're now printing out a simple version of the Tetris field in the Serial one. This is a great start, but of course there's much more to do, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the rest of the series. I'll put the next video there on the right as soon as it's available, and you can check out my channel on the left for more tutorials about Arduino and the 8-bit Kate and Microcade.